what is net operating income? Hey, it's Corey with Freedom Investing Group, and today I'm going to dive into one of the most important, maybe the most important metric uh, that you definitely need to understand if you're going to invest in any kind of multi, large multifamily or commercial real estate, mobile home parks, apartments, um, warehouses, whatever. So why is net operating income so important? Ultimately, it's going to determine not only your cash flow, your cash on cash return, it's also going to determine the value of your property and any potential um, equity you get. So it's also going to determine your overall return, your IRR. It is the most important thing. Anytime you hear someone talk about value add, we're going to add value, or we're going to force appreciation, or we're going to raise uh, you know, r r raise rents up to market, we're going to fill vacancies, uh, we're going to cut our operating expenses. All of these all have one goal, and one goal only, and that is to raise the net operating income. So all of this is why you need to understand net operating income. So what is it? It's very simple. It's just your gross income, rents, everything like that, your operating income rather, minus your operating expenses. That's it. Seems simple, but there's a little more to it. You see, not all income is operating income. And not all expenses are operating expenses. So there's also something you call non-operating income and non-operating expenses, and these would not contribute to your NOI. So what's the difference between operating and non-operating when people are talking about their expenses and income? One way to think about it is an operating expense is something that if you were to sell the park, a new owner would have to keep paying. Um, things like the electric bill, the water bill, the trash bill, those are operating expenses. Um, repairs and maintenance, even though this particular repair that you fixed, hopefully it was fixed right and a new owner wouldn't have to do it, but these things pop up from time to time where you have to fix something and they're gonna have repairs and maintenance expenses too, so that'd be operating. Things the new owner would definitely not need to pay or income that the new owner would definitely not get would go as non-operating expenses. A good example of this would be uh, your mortgage payment. Your mortgage payment is a loan that you took out. If someone were to buy that property, the mortgage payment will get paid off. They might have one of their own or not, um, depending on what they do. But your mortgage payment is your own and has nothing to do with the operations of the property. So that's a so your your interest on that would be a non-operating expense. In my case, we run mobile home parks. Um, an example of a non-operating income would be maybe we bought a home, fixed it up, and sold it to a resident for a profit. We now no longer own that home. It wouldn't be part of the park. Uh, I would consider the capital gains on that a non-operating income. So those things would not impact your NOI. Um, when it comes to the value of your property, um, you hear a lot about cap rates. Uh, the cap rate is something that you uh, you can take your net operating income divided by your cap rate and come up with your market value. Remember, that's the net operating income. That's what the cap rate applies to. You see a lot of people include things like their mortgage payment um, on the expense side, other income that's not really income from the park in this, uh, in their income <clears throat> when they're calculating cap rate, and that's really not right. So that's a mistake a lot of people make. So there you have it. Pretty simple. Net operating income is your operating income, your gross operating income say like rental income, minus your operating expenses. Not too shabby, but it's incredibly important because improving your net operating income, making that go up, is the way that you add value and achieve high returns in your real estate investment. Cheers.